with the insanely large amount of weapons that are in Adventure Quest Worlds and the amount of varying types of weapons in Adventure Quest Worlds, I could see how it could get hard to find the perfect weapon for yourself. But in this video, I'm going to go over some of my favorite weapons and some of the best weapons that uh, are the standout weapons in the game that the community really loves. Let's get into the video. Like most of the guys, I upload to my channel on YouTube. This is for a newer player, but if you're someone that's just looking for some items to farm for, this video could also really help you out in that department. Let's get in to the first item. All right, figuratively, these weapons are very cool. Uh, physically, they're very hot. We're talking about the Dark Flaming Fist. These aren't exactly the best in class in any weapon, but I just think they're really cool. They're free AC items. Not rare, and I don't think a lot of people know how to get them, so I decided to include this as the first item in this video. To get the items, you're going to want to slash join white hole. There's no W in hole, unless you're talking about whole foods. All right. So, right here at the shop, you may have to finish the quest. It's been a long time since I've been here. You may have to finish the quest to unlock the shop. If the shop is not there, do the quest line in this area. To get these fangs, what you want to do is run to the very end of the map. It's a long run. I think it's actually like a two minute run. I'll, I'll see you when I get there. Alright, I'm pretty sure there's like 30 rooms you gotta run through. There's a lot, so let's equip the Dark Flaming Fist. And here is the boss. 34k health. Should be able to solo this, it's only level 35, and you can get the drops from this monster. I'll fight it until I get the drop just to show off that you actually, the drops actually drop right now. And there is the drop. Alright, it took me a few kills, but I got it. Very, very nice. So you want to take that. It'll go in your inventory, but if you already have them in your bank, it'll, ah uh, yeah, I gotta go grab those out of your bank. So. You take that back to the merge shop, you turn it in, and with 10 of those, you can get the fifths I have equipped right now. My second choice also has to do with fire. You know what we're talking about? We're talking about the Burning Blade. One of my favorite blades in the game for good reason. This blade does 15% more damage to every monster in the game. It does not do extra damage in PvP, but... If you're ever using a class that needs a stable weapon and you're looking for a little bit more damage, uh, 15% more, you might want to try the Burning Blade uh, because it will do the extra damage to the monsters in Blood Rut, helping you win Blood Rut Brawls with the Burning Blade. That's why you'll see a lot of people using this blade in Blood Rut Brawls. How do you get the weapon? To get the weapon, you want to slash join lost runes war no spaces in there uh you never have put a space in a slash join so once you're here you want to run all the way to the top now if you haven't been to this location before you might have to do quests just like the previous location that always happens uh i've done a lot of the quests in a lot of areas in the game and it's harder for me to remember whether or not it's an area where you have to do the quest because for some areas you can go straight to the boss but for others, you have to do the quest before you can get to the boss. Here's the boss. It is a confirmed 1% drop from this boss, this blade. It's also a free AC item, making it storable in your bank for free. So if you ever don't want to use it, you can store it in your bank. Definitely a good item to go get if you haven't already. I'm sure a lot of people already have it. Oh, and if you don't like the burning blade, the visuals of it, you can get three other blades with the exact same 15% extra damage on them that the burning blade has with the same damage range. Just click on farming quest here. You might have to finish the quest line in the area, like I said before, to unlock these quests. But there are three different weapons that have the same effects. The Avatar of Death Scythe, the Lance of Time, and the Guardian of Spirits Blade. So if you like how any of these weapons look and would like to get them, they have the same effects as the burning blade and you do these quests for them. 
All right, we're getting into unstable territory with this weapon. Very good weapon, one of the best unstable weapons in the game. And to get it, you're going to want to slash, join, sit, Edel. Once here, you want to follow my character on the screen right now. Go to the right. I go up this hill and you will need 50 bone dust to do what I'm about to show you. I'll show you to get the bone dust in a second. Once you get this portal, this is where it'll ask you for your bone dust. If you don't have it, it won't let you in to the next room. Once you're in this room, you need to farm the death hand. The death hand has 20k health and the blade that we need. Just like the last blade, it is a 1% drop. It's not the blade he's holding in his hand. You would think it would be that blade. That blade looks really cool, but for some reason, it looks like this. It is a 1% drop and a negative 2 to negative 62 damage range, which means there is the potential of healing your enemy, but it's also the potential of doing some of the most damage you can get out of a single hit in the game. So it is a 1% drop. I won't be farming for it today. I don't have that much time work on this video but it is guaranteed that you can get it here 20k health so you need bone dust and to get bone dust you're going to need to go to slash join battle under B once here you want to farm the skeletons in this area they will drop you the bone dust I'll be back with the dust there we go, first kill, nice and easy. We got a piece of bone dust. These are now AC items that can be stored in your bank for free. So if you don't need your bone dust anymore, you can store it in your bank. I have 75 in my inventory right now and it can be stored in my bank. So there you go. That's one of the best unstable weapons in the game. I did two stable weapons, so it's only fair that we do two unstable weapons for this very greasy unstable weapon. You're going to want to slash join crash ruins. Once you have this map, all you have to do is walk where my character walks to the end of the map. It's been a while since I've been here. I played this event when it first came out and really enjoyed it. And we're back here to show off a weapon that Sven had. So right to the very end, usually takes some while. This way is not yet open. I don't know why that's a thing. I'll be back in a second. As a way from preventing you to go to the boss right away before you do the quest, they give you tokens for completing quests. You need the DWA token X to get into the last room. I have this in my bank because I've completed the quest in that area before, so you need that token to get into the last room. So now that you've completed all the quests and you have your DWA token, you can enter the room and farm this guy. He's got 33k health and he's level 40, so it should be pretty easy for most characters in the game to solo this guy. He drops the Enchanted Rod of Greased Lightning, of course a reference to the movie Greased Lightning. Uh, there's a car in that movie called the Greased Lightning. That's the reference. There's also a gold stick, but it's not unstable like this one. So like the other weapon, it has negative 2 to 62 damage range. That's a dash, not a negative for the second number there. And is very good, and it looks different than the other weapons. So if you want a blue stick instead of a uh, kind of brownish-orange sword, you can go for this unstable weapon. If the last weapon was Greasy Lightning, this is lightning fit for a king. The last weapon in this video is going to be available in PvP under the Shops tab in your game menu. Click on PvP Rewards, the Beast King's Lightning is the main weapon in the shop I am featuring, but there's also a non-member variant of this. Well, not really a variant, but there's different weapons in here that are non-member. You have the basic war sword, which looks weird. The Scully Katana, the su Sullied, I don't, yeah, the Sullied Katana, the Sullied Blade, the Sullied Blade and Katana. 
which says a dagger, which means that's probably both of these combined into one, which would be pretty cool. Or both weapons held in separate hands. There's armors in here if you're interested in any of that. Helmets. Bunch of different items in the shop. Let's quickly go through it all. That's all the non-member stuff and a bunch of member stuff here too. If you have a membership and you want to get some member items with your membership, of course. So, some very cool stuff in the shop. The main thing I like in here is the Beast King's Lightning. Now, how do you get combat trophies? Well, if you don't know, here's how to do it. The first step is to slash droid blood rut brawl. And go to a private one. So I'm going to go to 1337. Once you're in a Blood Rut Brawl, make sure you have a class and weapon equipped to do soloing. I forgot to do that. But I would recommend something like an Arch Pally. Something with a self heal that can keep you alive. And can also do damage to monsters. Once you're in here, you just want to basically win the match. Uh, by winning the match, you just kill the king guy on their side of the arena. So I'll go do that really quick and I'll be back once I'm done. All right, so I killed all the attackers, all the brawlers and all the restorers. So now I can go right to the captain and kill him. He only has 35K health, making him very easy to kill. And once I kill him, I'll win the match and that will reward me with the combat trophies. So if you don't know where a captain is, he is right up in, not there, right up here. Right in here, just kill him and you're finished. There we go, we beat the match. Got five combat trophies for our effort. So it will take you quite a few of those to get the weapon that you want from the shop, but they're not supposed to be easy weapons to get. And we're closer to that 500 combat trophies. Of course, this last one is very uh, opinionated on what whether or not it's a good weapon. I just think it looks really nice. And still the other stuff in here, like I would definitely go for this katana also and some of the other items in the shop. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like uh, so you know if I should make more of these. I'm thinking I should do one about classes next. So if you want to see the same video as this, but for classes, leave a like on the video guys. Tell me how I did and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.